Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. And we are continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. And as we generally do, uh, we do deviate from that on Sundays when we talk a little bit about the colic that's appointed for the day, which sets the tone for the particular Sunday's worth of readings. Now, Interestingly, today's collect not only sets the tone for this Sunday's readings, but it actually sets the tone for the entire season that we just began. Uh, this being Saturday, Sunday morning, we actually began our celebration of Advent uh, yesterday in the evening with a 4 o'clock and a 5.15 service. Uh, because of the current restrictions by the four dioceses in Michigan, uh, we have to be able to apparently social distance with only 10 people uh, in this church because apparently there's not enough room for us to spread out. Um, yes, the church seats 800, including the balcony that's over my head. So uh, because we're limited to 10 people, um, I hope that you have signed up for one of the services today. I know the, we have services at 8, 9, 10. I know that one's already full. 11.30, 12.30, and 5 o'clock today. Uh, so that's nine opportunities, including the two yesterday, for you to worship the living God, and more importantly, to receive the blessed sacrament our own Lord's body and blood. Uh, so the collect that's appointed for today is the collect for the first Sunday in Advent. And as the uh, rubric state at the bottom, that's a rubric, that little thing right down there, as instructions, as the word is called, rubrics, um, this collect uh, is to be repeated every day after other collects in Advent until Christmas Day. So this collect is prayed every day between now and Christmas. Why? Because it sets the tone and keeps us focused on what this particular season is about. Uh, the colic for the first Sunday of Lent does the same thing. The colic for Christmas as an octave. Uh, other uh, church uh, feasts of the Ascension, we say every day until Pentecost. Uh, Pentecost, we say every day until Trinity. Again, these colics are help us to set forth the theme uh, and the concentration for which the readings are assigned. So what does the colic today say? And remember, we're doing this for the whole season of Advent from now till December 25th. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put upon us the armor of light now in the time of this mortal life in which thy son Jesus Christ came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to the life of mortal through him who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, now and forever. Amen. Now the second, third, and fourth Sundays of Trinity will have colics also assigned for the theme of that particular day. But after we say that collect, we'll say this one again. Why? Because it, it is the emphasis of what the season is about. Uh, I mentioned this already in the sermon. The service of Advent is known as the already and the not yet. We are getting ready to celebrate what has already happened, right? That Jesus Christ took human flesh uh, from the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary and became man. He was a human being in every way except for sin. So there we have it, right? Uh, in which thy son Jesus Christ came to visit us in great humility, right? That's the already. Jesus has already taken flesh, has already been made incarnate, and has been lived among us, died, and rose from the dead. That's what we're getting ready to celebrate with Christmas is his birth. But the other aspect of Advent is that we're preparing for the true eventuality that he will return again. So the Collect goes on to say that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to the life of mortal. So yes, I know there's lots of things you're doing to prepare for Christmas, right? You're, you're shopping, you're decorating, uh, you're, you're getting out the greeting cards, uh, and of course Christmas will look very different this year than any other year in recent history because of the COVID virus. But besides that, we're not only preparing for that, but we are preparing for the reality that Jesus is coming back and we will be judged. Now, by God's grace, we'll be judged on the faith that we have, that we believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and not on the merits of our sinful lives. Uh, we certainly are avoiding sin, and when we fail, we are repenting of that sin and seeking amendment of life and forgiveness from God. But the reality is, is that we need to be prepared today. All right? We can't decide if you knew this was the last week, you know, what would you do this week? No, no, no. You gotta be ready right now. The lion's 
game could not happen because Jesus comes back first. Some years that's a blessing, right? Everybody, we need to be ready today. You can't put it off till tomorrow, right? This is not a procrastinator's uh, particular church season. We need to be reminded, not just in Advent, but every day that we don't know when Jesus is coming back. And if we don't know, we need to live the life of faith that we would be grateful to turn to Jesus and say, today, Lord, I did my best to try to love you and to love my neighbor as myself. Today might be the day. You may not get to see a morning meditation tomorrow because Jesus came back. And that would be wonderful. But if not, then we will have had a good day heading towards holiness and we start again tomorrow. So God willing, if you haven't already been to our Advent service, you'll be here today. Uh, please sign up online, stjohnsdetroit.org. Uh, and God willing, you'll have a wonderful, blessed day.